Hello, divine beings of light. <laughs> Just tapping in here and cleansing the energy of this space and you and me with this beautiful selenite crystal before we get started into this reading. And white purifying energy is actually pretty significant for this reading today. So originally I wasn't, I was on the fence about doing a collective energy reading um, because I've just noticed like there's been an upheaval lately and you know there's so much going on in the cosmos, there's so much going on with the planets, the retrogrades, the retrogrades, the solar flares, um, I'm not into, like I love astrology, I just don't personally self study it at the moment but I do hear a lot of things going on. And I think a lot of us can feel it um, collectively. The energy is pretty chaotic. <laughs> it's very, it's, there's lots happening. You may be feeling up and down, like one minute you're feeling super high, next minute you're feeling super low. This can be every few days. Um, and it's pretty intense. The emotions are pretty intense. There's just a lot of, it's crazy, okay? Um, yeah, so this ties into this kind of reason why I was sitting with, I'm not sure if I want to be another voice among all the voices because it's so incredibly loud out there. And I just felt to myself like I, I don't want to add to the noise I don't want to add to the crowd and to be loud um, because it's so chaotic but the call of spirit is higher than me feeling like I need to yet again suppress my voice suppress my divine knowing and the wisdom that comes to me and I think that's pretty relevant um, with this reading and yeah it, it all sort of it'll all make sense so let me just try to flow through it um there is a lot of people waking up to the truth you may be one of them or you're just getting an urge to put yourself out there or wanting to shed light on perspectives you've had, you know, wisdom you've had. And yeah, a lot of people are doing that. It's quite noisy. But look, if it's all for the work of light and the work of love and the work of God, then so be it. Keep going, everybody. Because um, we're, we're entering a transition or we're in a transition, sorry. Um, something about a new world uh yeah and with that being said i was journaling last the other day and as i was just journaling like personal journaling to get through stuff um and as i was journaling like what was just like boom here's this thought um or this wisdom innate wisdom and i wrote it down in the midst of my journaling and it just says we are here to wake up the sleepers and help the ones who are stuck so yeah we're here to wake up the sleepers and help move the ones that are stuck and to help pull them into this new world this new age this this change this oh hopefully balance and reorder of the divine um, but yeah, we're here to wake up the sleepers, so that's our journey and everyone has such a unique expression and it's so beautiful and, you know, I think all our voices are important because 
what you might convey in your unique expression one person might be like what i do not get that whereas another person will be like oh my gosh wow light bulb moment i totally understand that and you help wake them up so if you understand what i'm saying is like we all have a unique way of expressing of interpreting of being a channel for god and light and um we all need those different perspectives because one person just giving all the info is not going to wake up everybody because they might not understand the way they interpret things so there's that um so i had a dream the other night and it was i was just i was doing something random just real random crap um and then really out of nowhere really intensely this white deer i'm pretty sure it had and what do you call them and i don't know <laughs> um i probably sound so stupid that's fine i don't care um it was definitely a masculine it doesn't really matter but yeah out of nowhere this white deer just appeared and like came up and it was still at a distance but the way it appeared into my soul in that dream I don't know what it was but it invoked so much fear in me in this dream and I was petrified and it was just staring into my soul like so intensely it happened once and then I was kind of like oh my gosh get away that's so scary <laughs> and then it happened again not long after in the same dream um, and it just like came out of the shadows and just peered into my soul just staring and it's just this white deer um, with the big horns and there was so much fear installed into me it was really weird I, I just like felt so panicked and I literally woke up in my sleep panting like like I was having a panic attack I was just like <sighs> like and my heart was beating like it invoked fear and I got a few as I sat with that I got a few messages and one fear of God fear of the divine and I think that's pretty prevalent these days uh, this day and age right now what's going on in the collective um for some people that are waking up or experiencing new levels of divinity or truth or illusions being shattered because that's also a part of the meaning of the white deer it can invoke like fear but it's not like it's it's not the kind of fear where it's like Oh, run away from that I shouldn't go near that danger it's just like the fear of God that's the type of fear that I felt with this deer and I feel like this really correlates um, with this whole me sitting here and being like I'm not really sure if I want to add to the noise I don't want to put out just another video you know everybody else is putting out videos um i don't want to just be another and it was 222 two, two on the time as i just said that also 222 two, two has been really prevalent the last couple weeks so that's also confirmation yeah so i was just like i don't want to add to the noise and all this and and then like when I thought about it deeper, I was like, oh. but then you would just be suppressing your light. Then you would just be suppressing your divine wisdom. Then you would just be not sharing your voice and your inner knowing and your inner wisdom again, yet again. And this has been, this is a really big theme for me personally in my life. And I know it's pretty prevalent in a lot of people's lives. Um, and it's something that I'm, I'm trying really hard to work on like this fear of being seen and this expressing your truth and and being tall and sure of your wisdom and your innate knowing yeah so I thought to myself I would just be doing that again 
I would just be not letting my light shine, not letting myself put my voice out there. And a whole reason, uh, the meaning of the white deer, because I wrote down got some things here. I wrote down the meaning of the white deer. So it, one of the meanings is subconscious truths coming out, seeing beneath confirmation verb, <laughs> all the jokes. Um, seeing beneath the surface of the truth, canceling out outside noise. So really honing into your own divine wisdom and power and knowledge and using discernment because there is a lot of noise at the moment and yeah, everybody is spreading beautiful awareness in beautiful different ways, um, but not everything is going to resonate or be aligned with you specifically and it can just become quite overwhelming. So the white deer really signified... Stepping away from all the noise and fine tuning and being with yourself to listen to your own inner wisdom, connect with your own guides and know the truth for yourself with yourself. So he came to me twice. So the number two is relevant here. So alignment and the angels is very, is very divinely guided. So I'm just going to kind of go through some of the meaning of the white deer that I correlated this to. Um, so yeah, fear of the divine. It can also be a recognition. Recognition, is that the right word? I don't know. Uh, maybe you're having lots of, you're recognizing lots of things in your life. And also ego death, strong emphasis on ego death, like, old illusions being shattered maybe at everything that you thought you knew gone skis you don't know it anymore you're showing up in a different way you kind of just like i mean this is this up down up down it's like who am i what the hell is this what is going on illusions being shattered okay ego death so yeah important it's an important message from the dear spirit to focus and listen to your own higher power. No messing around. So I feel like this fear, this fear was there because it's like, listen, listen to me. Stop messing around. Stop wasting time. Focus. Like we've got, we've got a job to do. We've got to wake up these people. We've got to get them unstuck. We've got to move into the new world. Come on, we got to pack our bags. You, you're messing around. <laughs> um. Okay, so yeah, it also can correlate to spiritual growth, the next level of ascend, ascension. There could be fear around that for some people. Uh, it also can correlate with divine intervention. So if you notice things are just like not working out for you, there's resistance, you feel like it's shattering. This can actually be confirmation of divine intervention. You may think that something catastrophic in your life um, is happening and you know, and you don't know why. Um, and I also want to dif differentiate, differentiate, different. Hmm. I want to separate <laughs> this divine intervention as opposed to the devil's work, okay? And the devil's advocates and the people in stuck in the lower paradigms at the moment you i think you will you would you should know right if something is unhealthy for you if something is toxic to you if something is harming you physically emotionally that's not divine intervention okay and you need to find some sort of way to navigate out of this situation or just keep praying to to god for protection because that's, that's not what I'm talking about here, okay? That's not divine intervention. So the dear spirit signifies rulership, status, power, strength. Oh, yes. And it also says here, trials of faith are being endured. So, yes, please know the difference between... 
having your your faith being tried and tested by God and the soul contract that you signed up to be here for to learn your lesson to move forward as opposed to just the devil's work right I mean there is lessons in all of that you can still take a lesson from that and being like I know my worth now and I'm stepping away from this in all the ways that I can and know how to do now so yes your your faith is being tested because we we need to ascend together and we need those who keep continuing to go back to their faith and to the light and trusting the divine and trusting the purpose and trusting this higher power that's what this new world needs okay this could also be um a representation of an opposing person in your life who is doing you harm has done you harm in the past this opposing person may be feeling the fear of divine justice so know that these people are feeling the fear of the divine justice that could be a message for some of you yeah and just overall transformation prepare for your reality to be shattered <laughs> and prepare for you to trust in that and then to ascend and just keep having faith um, and not everyone can come with you not everyone can come with you we can try and inspire we can try and lead the way but don't let yourself be dragged down trying to go and pull somebody back up okay like not everybody can come with you use your discernment we're not going to be mean we're not going to be like toodles um you know of course we want everybody to come with us we want everyone to see we want everyone to feel the divine love we want everything to be in balance and harmony but balance is just that there's yin and yang there's black and white there's high and low so just know that not everybody can come with you and what happens in the lower paradigm i don't know that's for somebody else to work out because we're going up we're going up okay okay oh and also some of you this is a message that some of you need assistance from a shaman or a highly intuitive person a light worker or someone who transmutes energy some of you really do need assistance right now from um, somebody who is a professional in this sort of sense in order to help transmute this energy so I, as i was kind of looking at the the meaning of the white deer one of the websites i was on was actually this website from a woman who does like shamanic healing she does soul retrievals and she does a whole bunch of stuff it was pretty impressive i was like wow um and i think she's based in texas yeah i don't know i'm just advocating for this woman right now i have nothing do not know anything about her have no ties to anyone in texas um but if anyone is on this channel right now and listening to this message I'm going to put her information on the screen or down below. I'm just helping a woman out, helping the collective out, 2222 on the timer. As I said that, um, yeah, I'm just helping. Actually, I'm blind. Wait, was it 222? I think it was 2322. Two, two. Anyway, same difference. Angel numbers. Y'all based in Texas, go ahead. Check her out. And with all that being said... Bye.